Hey friends, I welcome you again into yet another exciting series of our learning Linux command. So today we are going to master htop command. So the question arises, what is htop? Actually htop is an utility. It's very similar to top. I mean if you want to know what top is then you need to watch one of my video tutorials that I have already um, have it on my channel so it is very similar to top it helps you in uh, analyzing and understanding a process uh, all the active process behavior and uh, also it helps you understanding the system behavior through CPU memory task and all the uh, all the data is right associated with it so htop is exactly the same with ncurses support so it's um, it's more uh, I will say vibrant and uh, it is very easy to use and it is very easily customizable as per your need and it's more interactive and more vibrant so you may like it right and apart from it it's very similar to top very similar to top so htop is now becoming very popular utility more of the uh, more of us are using it i have also tried it and uh, i like it okay so today i will be having um, almost all the pra uh, practical tutorial i will i will not be having any theoretical session the only flip side of top is that uh, you have to download it by default it's not present in rhel or centos it might be present in ubuntu i am not sure but in rhel and uh, in um, centos it's not present so you have to download it. so how you would download it so you have to download it from here uh, http pkgs dot repo dot uh, repo forge dot org stop from this um, uh, site you can download okay so how would you download so I have already uh, searched it and this is the URL so you just need to go into your system you, you say w get and the URL and enter currently I am not connected to internet so it will not actually download but I have already downloaded the uh, RPM of it right so I will do rpm hyphen ivh for installing uh, stop and I will say enter and it's installed right then I will do htop so you will see it's showing stop I say enter it's present so if you have used top you will find it very beautiful it's very vibrant it's colorful and uh, it's uh, you, you see it has it's very simple also it is just saying what's the total CPU utilization, what's the total memory utilization, and what's the swap utilization. It does not have the bifurcations that you have in top, but you can have it. It's customizable. I will tell you how you can have it. Similarly, just talk about the task, total task, how much running. It's not talking about how much sleeping, how much, how much waiting, but you can have all that if you want it, right? So you, you can make your top in fact your edge top less cluttered and more readable right and you can customize it as per your requirement it talks about the load average the uptime and you can see it's not that cluttered the way it is in top right and rest of all the fields are pretty same you have PID you have user ID PID is the process ID that is associated uh, that is associated with uh, it's a unique ID that is associated with the process and the user user who uh, a user through which the process is running and the priority these are the priorities of the process I mean 0 is the highest priority and 40 is the lowest priority the nice value through which you can change the priority minus 20 is the higher, uh, highest priority and minus and 19 is the lowest priority right and the virtual memory the total virtual memory taken by the process then the resident memory resident memory is the total non swappable uh, physical memory that currently the process is occupying with this is uh, which is this that is shared memory shared memory is the total memory that is shared among the processes including the current process and the state state is the 
whether the process is right now this process is sleeping it's not running other it, otherwise it would be r this is cpu total cpu utilization by the process similarly the memory total memory utilization by the process the time from which this process is running and the process name finally so i have already covered entire entire i mean uh, details of a process in my uh, mastering top video tutorial in great depth i will recommend first to watch that tutorial and then you can watch this and you can develop better understanding of this top okay so you see it's very similar to the top right but it's more colorful and once you are hooked up to it you will use it right it also presents similar set of command like you can do shift p for uh, i mean ordering the process as per the cpu utilization and then you can do shift m for ordering the uh, processes as per the memory utilization all right so the highest memory utilization process will be on the top right so uh let's get into detail of it let's learn how we can use it you know the good thing about uh, htop is that you don't have to run it it's so user friendly that you can just execute it uh, even if you are a novice to it you just download and install and you will find all the help help things written here so you not remember anything you just go into help and you will have have all the help and it's very simple help you you just follow it and you will learn it right similarly f2 for setup setup is for customizing the stop utility f3 for searching the process like f4 for inverting the searching f5 for if you want to see a tree view of it f6 if you want to start a process then if you want to increase the process priority or decrease the process priority if you want to fill a process or if you want to quit stop right so let's go first do f1 now everyone is support uh, help right so you you see uh, these are the states running sleeping traced or stop zombie or uh, disk sleep okay so these are the states that we were talking about then you have arrow so i i will show you one simple thing right the biggest thing is you can scroll down right you can't do that in top right So you can just scroll down to all right till the end, and you can see any any process, right? Then you can scroll right, you can scroll left. So it, it, it's it's like a windowing environment, and I tell you, it's very user friendly. I really love it. Okay, then you can do digit incremental. You can do digit incremental PDI search. Suppose if I want to search a process ID. Eight seven nine four. I will say eight seven nine four, and it is up there, Apache. Right. So you need not to type anything. Just type the PID, and it will search it out. Right. Similarly, if I want to search through name, then how would I do it? I will say F three. You see the search, sorry, the search here, and I want to search say send mail. I will say send. Mail and you see it, it's here. Right. Similarly, if I want to search, say, uh, um, um, say cups, C U P. Okay, sorry, I need to first delete this, and I will see U P S. Search it. So it's very very easy. Okay. So now. Uh, if you want to untag it you say uh, if you want to tag a process so you say suppose you want to tag a process you just want want to follow it you will say space bar right and it is colored then you say space bar space bar right and you want to untag all of them say uh, sorry uh, if you want to untag it you will say you will say capital u and it's untag you can tag a process and you can just follow it right okay so now suppose uh, i will not go to the kill in the last will do the kill activity uh, uh, suppose if you want to increase or decrease the priority of a process say i have a process httpd and by default its priority is zero right so suppose if i want to increase the priority so i will say 
uh, I just need to see which uh, option I'm right. So I will uh, I will do plus sign and plus plus and its priority is decreasing, right? So the, I have put it on the lowest priority. Now if I want to decrease its priority, I will say minus 20 and its priority has decreased to uh, has increased, right? So now it is the topmost priority. Okay. So this is how you can increase and decrease the priority of a process. Okay. Uh, then if you want to set up, we'll go into setup later on. Let's try other things out first. Okay. F1 is for help that I'm currently doing. You press F1 and it's going to help. Then if you want to see a tree view, then for uh, for that we use T. For uh, if you want to see process single user process, we say U. So let's try this out first. F5, okay, and you see it has given a tree view. And you press T again, it, it will be in it. You say press T again, and it will be here, okay. And if you want to see uh, uh, processes by your user, press U. Currently, you are viewing all the processes by all the user. If I want to see process from Apache user only, I will enter into Apache and I can right. I will do again U. I want to see all the root processes okay and I will do U if I want to see all the R P C process I can do that right so similarly I can do everything right so and then you can go into help you can see if you want to hide or show kernel you can do a capital H capital K if you want a uh, cursor to follow process you say capital F right so if you want to do so you control that with capital H and you see threads uh, user threads similarly you can do capital K for kernel thread right and uh, then if you want to tag a process a follow a process with a capital F so it will now this will follow if this process jump here or there it will follow it okay okay so if you want to sort it it's a P M T uh, by sorting by CPU is P, sort, sorting by memory is M, and sorting by time is T. Okay, so if you want to sort it by CPU, you have shift P, you have sorted, shift M by memory, shift T by time. Okay, okay, so uh, okay. So it, it was very simple, right? Similarly, if you want to inver invert your sort, you say F4I, right? So if you want to invert, and uh, one of the very good utility that I I liked it. If you want to see all the open FDs, you press L, and it will show all the open FDs that is there, right? And then you can you can see that, right? And then you do escape for coming back, and. Uh, Similarly, suppose if I want to search HTTP, okay, so G, okay, so I do a F3, I say HTTP, okay, I wanted this, right, process, okay, and now if I want to see, if I want to, uh, if I want to see the system call trace of HTTP process, how would I do it? I I would uh, I would rather call S and you see it is actually showing the system call trace of HTTP process and this is how you can I mean you can debug right so this is very helpful right okay so what we are left with we are left with a setup first I will show you how to set up so you press F2 and you are set up right so meters you have all CPU memory swap you have task counter average and you can add this if you want suppose I, I want battery right I will say F5 and it is added you see similarly I can add anything right and I can customize the way I want right and if I want to remove it, I, I will say F9 and will remove it. And if I want the display options, I want to view or I want 
uh, I want to hide uh, user thread or I always want this thread to be uh, to be available. So I I will just select it and uh, right and um, similarly I mean if you want to CPU detailed information that it should uh, it should have all this information like detailed system I wait till you say enter uh, sorry you select it and then you go back right and uh, you say done F10 okay and uh, you go back right and then it will have all the details there okay so uh, it will have all the details CPU details uh, whatever you want right so you, you can have informations as per your need configuration right you can also change the color whatever color you want the columns you want to include right these are the active columns that you have then these are the other you can have PPID or you can have TTY or the, uh, all the values are here I mean if you want it to be displayed so you can customize it accordingly right so uh, currently I find the default one quite good for me so I hardly customize it uh, it's okay me okay so the last thing that was left was suppose if you want to fill a process you say F9 right and you select a process suppose suppose if I want to I do a uh, um, suppose if I want to fill this top process right some other top running from root right in the background I want to kill it I want to kill it how would I do it I've selected it I will I'm sending segment I said enter right and it will fill that process okay okay so this is uh, this is how you can use uh, um, um, this is how you can use uh, htop uh, utility it's very useful and um, uh, it's very interactive the best part is it's very interactive uh, you can do everything that you can do with the top and you can do it very easily so I mean it is more favored uh, by me and I've seen many people using it okay that's why I thought of bringing it to you okay so this was it if you like this tutorial please um, like like it and uh, subscribe to this channel and share with your friends share your feedback with me and comments if you have any queries or if you have any details that you want to add to it so please do that and uh, if you have any suggestions then please share okay so i'm signing off bye